Hey everyone, Lucas here from GearFX. One of the most common questions we get asked is, what gear ratio should I put in my car? Gear ratio is a really complicated question with a really complicated answer, and so today we're gonna go more in depth with it. The gear ratio is heavily dependent on personal preference, but before we get started into that, we need to talk about numbers first. So a numerically lower ratio like this 310 here is gonna have a much lower RPM on the highway, for instance, than this 411 that is in this gear right here. On a Ford 9-inch, there's several different popular ratios that we offer. It starts with 325, and then you go into 350, 370, 389, and 411. Those are the most popular options that we offer. So 325 is gonna be a great highway option. You know, something for a car that may do hot rod power tour, it's just gonna be a cruiser, you wanna go hop in it and take your kids to go get ice cream and take it on road trips. Then you move into the 350 to 370 range. Those are for cars that are going to be mostly used for daily driving, but can still do you know, an autocross event, a track day. It's something that gives you kind of a good compromise between something that's fun to drive, gives you a lot of fun in first through third gear, and then still allows you to be able to go on the highway and not lose too much fuel economy. Then you move into 389 and 411. Now these are more for cars that are going to autocross events multiple times a year. You're gonna go race it, you're gonna drag race it. You want something that's gonna have the best power at lower speed, something that's much more fun to drive. Then you can move into 457 or even a 486 in a Ford 9 inch specifically. So those are more specialized applications, uh, something for eighth mile drag racing even. It's a ratio that will work much better for performance applications, but you're gonna be turning the engine so high at RPM that it's not really gonna be very happy on long highway trips. So what gear ratio you decide to pick is dependent on three main factors. What engine you're running in the engine specs, what transmission and what your tire size is. So for example, you've got say an LS1 with a 4L60E automatic transmission. So that 4L60 is going to have a 31% overdrive in fourth gear. You may want something that's more like a 350 to a 370. Whereas with the T56, because it has a much wider gear spread, you can run a lower ratio, something like a 411, that allows you to have the best of both worlds. You've got something that's really fun to drive around town, but yet it still gets really great gas mileage on the highway because that 50% overdrive in six gear allows the engine to turn really, really low RPMs. When you've got a transmission that doesn't have overdrive, such as a turbo 350 or 400 or a four-speed manual like a Muncie, you would want to run something like a 325 with a non-overdrive transmission. The engine's going to be turning much higher RPM with a lower ratio, and without overdrive, you don't have enough gear spread to cover that. And so the engine's going to be sucking more fuel, and you're going to have much hotter oil temperatures if you're going to drive it on the highway. Camshaft is very, very important to take into consideration when you're picking a gear ratio. So a stock camshaft in something like an LS1 that's a hydraulic roller with low lift and duration is going to handle low RPM much better than, say, a really high lift, really long duration, solid roller camshaft that you would put in something that would spin higher RPM. So GearFX has a ton of different ratios available. So for a Ford 9-inch, you know, one of the party tricks is the 9-inch has a ton of different options, much more than some others, but we also do offer a bunch of different options for our GM 12 bolts, uh, Ford 88 options, GM 10 bolt. We can pretty much put any ratio in that's commonly available. If you've got any questions about gear ratio or you're unsure of what ratio to pick, feel free to give us a shout at 704-799-0955 or email us at info at gearfxdriveline.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.